Welcome to the Pro Kitchen Cabinets tutorial. Cabinets are the main focus when it comes to designing kitchens, so in this tutorial, I'll demonstrate how to set up, place, edit, modify, and add plumbing and appliances to cabinets in Pro Kitchen software. Let's get started. I'll be demonstrating this L-shaped kitchen design for an example. Before you start adding cabinets to your design, Make sure you have the catalog you want to work with initialized and the global specifications set for that catalog. You can initialize the catalogs you have access to in your catalog panel on the lower left hand side by selecting it from the drop down list and clicking on it to initialize. Then open the catalog in your catalog panel. The global specifications are how you set the styles you want for your catalog. This is what will be visually rendered in 3D and HD views. You can set and view your global specifications by navigating to the View and Settings tab and selecting the Global Options icon, or click the Global Options icon found in your top toolbar. ProKitchen allows you to place cabinets effortlessly by utilizing the wall zones and snap features. These tools can be turned on or off using these buttons down here. Blue means on and white means off. Your wall zones are the area indicated by a dotted line surrounding your walls in the plan view. The area width is set in your design settings under the construction tab. When you place a cabinet inside of a wall zone, ProKitchen will automatically rotate your cabinet to face the correct direction according to the wall you're placing it on. The snap feature will automatically snap the back side of your cabinet right up against the wall so you don't have to worry about leaving a gap that's a fraction of an inch. If you don't have your zones or snaps turned on, you'll end up experiencing something like this when placing cabinets. Once your cabinet settings have been adjusted to your preference and you assure that your wall zones and snap feature are turned on, you're ready to start placing. I'll start with my base cabinets and work my way out from the corner. Navigate to the Draw and Place tab at the top and click on the Cabinets icon to launch your Cabinet Select and Place dialog box. Whichever catalog you have open in your catalog panel is the catalog tree that this box will automatically bring you to. From here, you can follow the catalog tree to find the cabinet you wish to place. Or, if you know the SKU of the cabinet from your catalog, you can type it in here at the bottom and the results will appear under the search bar. Select the cabinet you wish to place from the bottom panel, click place, your cursor will turn into a plus sign, and move it inside of the wall zone of the wall that you wish to place your cabinet on. And then click to place it. The cabinet will move with your cursor and you can then drag it into the position on the wall you want and click again to lock it in that place or use the info panel to type in the exact measurement from the right or left end of the wall and hit the enter key on your keyboard to lock it into that position. Your cabinet select and place dialog box will reappear so you can add more cabinets to your design. So I'll repeat the process to add the rest of my base cabinets. Follow the catalog tree to find the type of cabinet you need, select it from the bottom panel, click place, click inside of the wall zone, drag it into position, and click again to lock it into position. When designing an island, you can utilize the construction line tool to get an invisible wall with zones on both the inside and outside of the construction line to place and snap cabinets on. I'm done adding my base cabinets, but before I move on to adding wall cabinets, I'll add the sink and faucet I need to my sink base and also place my client's microwave inside of the BMC22 cabinet by the refrigerator. If a cabinet is made specifically for an appliance or plumbing, You'll be able to add them inside or on top of your cabinet by opening up the cabinet's attributes. Cabinet attributes can be launched by right-clicking on the cabinet, select its SKU from the submenu to open its toolbox, and at the very bottom, click on Attributes. Or, double-clicking on a cabinet will launch its attributes as well. In the cabinet attributes, you can adjust its price in the General tab, make modifications for physical changes that have a price like reducing or increasing depths, balance modification, or adding doors on ends. 
Use the Accessories tab to add items to the cabinet that don't physically change the structure like additional shelving, tray dividers, or pullouts. You can add sinks and faucets if the cabinet is built for it. You can add lights inside of the cabinet. Add appliances if the cabinet is built for it. And change or adjust its knobs. Any changes made in the cabinet attributes apply to that one cabinet only and do not affect the rest of the cabinets in your design. So, since this is my sink base, I'll add my apron front sink and a faucet. Under the Sinks and Faucets tab, I can use the Pro Kitchen Custom Plumbing Catalog or change it to my favorite appliance manufacturer. Then, I'll follow its catalog tree to find the sink and faucet I'm looking for. Hovering my mouse over the options will give me a preview of the product. If I click to select, its information and dimensions will appear. The dimensions of my cabinet are displayed above the dimensions of my chosen sink. I can make sure the sink I've chosen will fit and then click add to add it to my sink base. The 3D preview image on the right will show me the changes that I've applied. Now repeat to add the faucet. Once you're done making attribute changes, click OK to save and return to your plan view. To add an appliance to a cabinet, select the Appliance tab from the cabinet's attributes. Click the Add button at the top and it will bring you to the Appliance Select and Place dialog box. You can use Pro Kitchen's custom appliance catalog or switch to your favorite appliance manufacturer. Then follow the catalog tree to find the right appliance to fit inside of your cabinet and once selected from the bottom panel, click Place. Now, in your preview, you can see your appliance has been added to your cabinet. You can use the Rotate tools underneath to preview the image to inspect your cabinet closely. If you need to adjust the cutout parameters for your cabinet to fit your appliance, you can do so here by either typing in the exact measurement or using the left or right arrows to increase or decrease by an inch or a fraction of an inch. If you need to change the dimensions of the appliance, you can do that here. Click OK to save and return to your plan view. Now let's add wall cabinets. Wall cabinets will automatically get placed on the wall according to the top or bottom alignment you have set for your wall items in your design settings under the construction tab. Instead of using the cabinets icon to select and place your cabinets, you can also drag and drop them from your catalog panel. Just follow the catalog tree to find the wall cabinet you want, click on it to select, and its preview image will appear in the info panel and its dimensions and measurements will appear next to it. You can view or make changes to its dimensions before placing or simply just click drag, and drop the cabinet inside of your wall zone. Just like the base cabinets, it will move with your mouse so you can position and lock it into place using your mouse or the info panel. If you're placing multiples of the same cabinet, you can simply copy and paste them instead of going back to your catalog tree in the panel. To do so, right click on the cabinet, select its SKU, and from its toolbox, click on copy. Your cursor will turn into the plus sign and allow you to paste your copied cabinet on your plan. Click inside of your wall zone, move, and lock it into position. I'll repeat that process to add my last 3030 cabinet. To add the rest of my wall cabinets, I'll open up my elevation view to get a better look at what I'm doing. You can override your wall items alignment settings by using the stack tool to stack cabinets on top of other cabinets and objects. To do so, first add the cabinet you wish to stack to your plan. You can place it inside the wall zone or outside and click to position it temporarily. Once it's on your plan view, right click, select its SKU, and then click the stack above or below option from its toolbox. Your cursor will turn into the plus sign and now you can click on the object that you wish to stack your cabinet on and the cabinet will automatically place itself on top of that object. Before I move further, I'm going to make some attribute changes to this stack cabinet. I want to add a glass window 
to the doors of this cabinet. So I'll use the modifications tab, open the door and drawers option folder, open the glass and grill modification subfolder. I'll select the clear glass, click on the option available and click the arrow to add it. I can see the changes made in the preview image on the right. I'm also going to add a light to the inside of this cabinet. So I'll navigate to the lighting tab, open the inside cabinet light folder and select a lighting product to add. I can open my cabinet's doors in the preview image and rotate it up to ensure that the light was added. Then click OK to save. Now I'll save myself the time of placing, stacking, and editing attributes by simply copying and pasting this already modified and stacked cabinet. The copy and paste tool works in elevation views too. Right click on the cabinet, select its SKU, click copy, click where you want to paste the copied cabinet, move and lock it into position. I'll repeat that step for my third cabinet. Lastly, I'll add the cabinet above my refrigerator. This time, I'll type in the SKU of the cabinet I'm looking for in the catalog panel under the Find tab. The search results will appear below and I can drag and drop the one I need to my plan. Right click, select its SKU, stack above, and click on the fridge. The stack feature will stack objects directly on top of each other, leaving no room in between. So, if you need to make room in between, you can simply right-click on the wall cabinet in your elevation view, select its SKU, then click on the up-down tool from its toolbox. In the info box, you can type in the exact measurement from the ceiling or floor and then hit enter on your keyboard to place and lock it into that position. End and back panels can be placed just as easily as cabinets. I need to add a 24 inch deep by 96 inch high left and right side panel to box in the refrigerator. So back in my catalog panel, I'll select the catalog tab to browse through the catalog tree to find the panel that will fit. I'll select the panels folder, three inch style, and find my 2496-R. I'll click, drag and drop inside of the wall zone and move and lock it into place. Then I'll repeat to add the left side panel. And that's it. Now you're ready to start adding the rest of the elements to your design.